All right, guys, it's that time. We got new models with traditional electric fireplaces, which means ba, 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 new top five traditional electric fireplace video. Let's go. All right, so we got a new technology that I'm gonna be talking about. So we got some new contenders that made it into the top five. A uh, few things. If you're in the Denver, Colorado area, come to our showroom today. You can see everything in person. If you're not, give us a shot at your business on the internet. So we spend a lot of time educating consumers on what works best for them, and then they buy it from one of our competitors, which I guess is fine, but we sure appreciate a stab at the business. So call us, give us a shot first, be happy to help you out and take care of it. We've got very capable sales staff here. All right, show us some love in this video, thumbs up at all the things. All right, should we get started with number five? We better just get right into it. Coming in at number five, pa, is gonna be the Amanti Traditional Series. So what they've done here is they've added sort of their bespoke flame. I don't know if I can even turn the flame on. What do I got going? Oh, there we go. So they've added their bespoke flame pattern, which makes it, I think, a little less washed out, which is nice. And then we have, they've basically gotten rid of all the blue in the flame. So you basically have six red settings six orange settings, so that's just yellow, and then six yellow settings. So there's more orange, there's a lot of red. I don't know if I like the red too bright. Let's try, let me try to find the perfect combo of what I like. Let's do it mostly yellow. So there's yellow at six. Let's turn these down to two. I kind of like that right there. What do you think, Chris? Does that look the most realistic? Now we can also change the speed of the flame, which is cool. So now we're on slow ultra slow, that's way too slow I think. And there's fast, all right? Now we also have top lights, which I'm not really a fan of. Let's see if we can uh, turn this up or down. I wish you could dim the top light a little bit. Anyways, we can change the color of our ember bed too. It does have a heater that comes in it. What I like about this series is they go I think from 20 some all the way up to 54. So you get huge, you know, nice big window if you wanted to. Um, and they're very affordable. So I think if you're on a budget, um, our first two models are more budget based models. Um, but if you're on a budget, I think this is a great option to go with. All right, should we get to number four? Coming in at number four is gonna be the Modern Flames Redstone series. So check this out. So it, it's kind of similar to the Monty in a sense. It's, it's a great sort of budget model but I, there's some things I like about it that I think just make it a little bit nicer than the Amanti. First thing is the log set. So you can only have the one log set, but look how good they look, especially with the orange background, don't you think, Chris? Because our logs actually light up, which is really cool. Now, just like Amanti, we can change the color of our flames. Let's try to do that. Okay, so there's, let's start with our speed flames. There's the slowest setting for the flame. There's a little faster. There's three. And there's four. Pew, pew, pew. That's a Star Wars setting, I say. Um, I like it in the middle somewhere. I'd say two or three. Wouldn't you, Chris? Yeah. Okay. So let's get it on the speed flame that we like. And kind of like the Amanti too, they, they've done a good job, you know, refining the back panel. So we have nice black top and then brighter flame. So contrast that's not so washed out, I think, which is really cool. There's red, blue, yellow, green, purple, blue again, purple again, white, purple-ish, I guess. <laughs> And then there's basic orange. So it's just more like one solid color you can choose from. And then same thing, we can choose our brightness level of the whole thing. Uh, so that's on the lowest setting. Let's put on the brightest setting. Top light, again, there's blue, clear, green. So we can change our top light. And then our ember bed too. So. There, I think that looks pretty good. 
Now, again, like the Amante, this comes in a ton of different sizes. It comes really big or really small. What's nice too with their small models is they do sell surrounds for them. So if you wanted to put this into an existing fireplace, like an insert setting, a retrofitting insert, um, it's a great option. Does only have one, both of these only have 110 volt heat. So again, it's more of a price point model, but for the price, um, they certainly look a lot better than they used to. So I think these first two models, five and four, I'd say these would be models, you would, models, models you would want to shop for if you're on a budget. These are our best two budget models here. All right, should we get to number three? All right, coming in at number three. Now this is a huge news in traditional electric fireplace land. It's not really that big of a news outside of fireplace land. Unless you're a fireplace geek, uh, sometimes I geek out over fireplaces I shouldn't. I need to get a life, I suppose. Uh, this has been our number one traditional fireplace for years and years and years, and it's gotten bumped to number three. That's good news because it means cool new technology is coming out. Now this is still a great unit, but it is starting to feel a little long in the tooth to me. Um, great unit though, let's talk about it. So it's the Dimplex Revolution series. So when this came out, they wanted to revolutionize because it's an illusion. So they would revolution the industry. And they kind of did for a couple years. So what's so cool about this unit? Well, it comes in uh, four sizes, I think. This is the 24, 24 and the 30 inch. Again, we can put surrounds on them, turn them into inserts. There's a 30, uh, 36, and the 42. Now you can see that we have two background choices, the herringbone or the concrete. But really, I think the selling feature of this guy is in order for a fireplace to look as realistic as possible, we want that flame, we want the flame to look like it's coming up out of the middle of the logs, not like the flame coming out of the back. Like this Napoleon here, it can start to look a little aquarium E. So the more three dimensional we can get that flame to look, the better. And that was really the best selling feature and still is of this guy. You know, we have a log set in behind, we have the flame in the middle, and then a three dimensional log set out in front that lights up. This log set, you get standard out of the box. You can buy the white birch logs or the fresh split oak logs as well as an option. And then these all have top lights, which are pretty cool that you can toggle through. And then I kind of like it off personally. And then you can buy these door accessories or the new models come standard with the plain glass on it and you can upgrade to a door accessory if you wanted to. So this has always been the number one in the traditional market. Oh, we can wire to 110 or 220. So if we want extra heat, these guys can do that. It's always been number one because it's got a good heater. Dimplex has a fantastic warranty. They definitely have done a great job in our experience standing behind their products all the way to the end. Um, they went through a little bit of a rough patch, but we got that dialed in and they are back better than ever with their warranties and customer service, which is really, really good Good to hear. Like everyone, I think they had some COVID struggles with supply chain and, and being overwhelmed with orders, but everything seems to be balancing out. And they, there's two brands really that um, are exceptional with their customer service in the electric field, um, Dimplex and Modern Flames, which we'll be getting to in a second. Um, but it's a great unit because of that three-dimensional background, great warranty, uh, could company that stands behind it like Dimplex and the fact that we could put 220 heat and is reasonably priced has always made it our best selling traditional fireplace. It's been dethroned. I think we'll still sell a lot of them because it fits the market very nicely. But should we get to number two? Okay, coming in at number two. This is brand new technology from Net Zero Fireplaces. I don't know if you've seen my review on this. This fireplace is awesome. It is by far the most realistic looking. I don't know what you're saying. If it's the most realistic, why is it not number one? I'll tell you why. I'll get to that. I debated on whether or not putting this into the traditional category because it's more of a, of a linear, more modern shape. But I went ahead and put it in because it, it's kind of like a hybrid. It does have taller glass than our more modern, you know, linears. Um, and then also there's no modern option for it. Their goal is to give you the most realistic looking traditional fireplace possible even though it's in a, a more of a linear window. So it's almost more of like a hybrid series. So it's more rectangular shaped. It's almost 19 inches tall, which is taller that for, for this type of unit by 40. So it's, it's getting close to that rectangle shape. It's still a touch linear, but um, I wanted to talk about it because I think it is the most realistic. And if you're after the most realistic 
this is it. So what it is is we, kind of like we talked about with Modern Flames on how important that um, three-dimensional look is, that's essentially what we have. So we have an LED screen on the back of this fireplace, and then believe it or not, there's an LED screen on the roof itself that is reflecting out in front on a piece of glass in front of those logs. So we have two layers of flames, or basically a front burner and a rear burner. And uh, again, this fireplace really has everything. It has sound, it has heat, but only 120 volt heat. We don't have 220. And then it also has just very, very good realism. Now it's cool is we can sort of dim this guy That's dimming the ember bed. So I don't like the ember bed as bright as possible. And then we can toggle through different flame options. So I think we have three flame options, right? There's A, B, and C, which looks pretty similar to B. I'm partial to A. What do you think, Chris? Yeah, A for sure. And then, let's see what this does. What am I doing here with this? Is that speeding the flame up? Or that's dimming the flame? So that's the, as bright as the flame glows. And then we also have a top light, which you can see highlights the logs. And those are real heavy duty logs. So this is made by Net Zero, who also owns Mendota Fireplaces. That looks like a Mendota log set. They've always been known to have like the most realistic logs in gas fireplaces. So we have nice thick logs like you would in a gas fireplace. And there is a way to change the speed. Also, this has uh, app controls as well. So I just think I love that it has that two dimensional flame. It, it just makes it look really, really, really nice. So that's why I love this unit. Uh, the reason it's not number one is it's, it's extremely pricey. It is by far the most expensive electric fireplace for the size, easily. Um, I also think a lot of clients in the traditional type unit would be not so much in the linear style, but more in the traditional style. Also, what I find is um, the biggest request for 220 heat. So they're also looking at for it to heat traditionally with more heat output. So this only has a 110 volt option. I think um, this is more of a hybrid unit, like I said, more in the modern type feel. I don't think that's as important to clients, but for whatever reason, it's more important with traditional type clients to have that 220 volt heater. And then you have to have the right mounting height, I think, to really view it the best. So it, it, it has a little bit of a limitation on install and price. That's really the biggest reason it wasn't number one, and it's not like that true traditional, traditional uh, feel, if that makes sense. All right, should we get to number one? All right, coming to number one, pa, is gonna be the um, Modern Flames Orion Traditional. Now, you know, it's no coincidence that it's the number one ranked fireplace in our modern fireplaces and our traditionals, because I love the technology. Um, it does have only the one burner so to speak, or the one flame on the top. But you can see kind of like the um, uh, Revolution, uh, they have a nice reflective panel. So that log looks like it's on the back side of the flame and the front side. And then they, this piece of glass is tinted to actually help reduce with glare. I've always said reflections are kind of a, a good bad because you get more reflection obviously, but you also, it looks so much better and more realistic with that flame looking like into the back. But this unit really has everything. I think they have the best and easiest app control. We basically have three flames to choose from. I'll just toggle through the flames and you can make them any color you want. Um, if you wanted to get cute with some colors or flame number three. I personally like flame number two the best, I think. And then of course we can change our ember bed color. So this is on orange or red. I kind of like it a little more dim so we can change the dimness of it. And then we also have a top night light. So you can see you can change that purple, green, orange, uh, same thing. I like it a little more dim. And then like the Revolution, our logs actually light up. So I think it has a very nice realistic log set as well. It has 120 heat and 240 heat. It has sound like the crackling sound. Now this sounds silly. I've talked about this in my other videos, but I have a Orion in my own home. And uh, it's the best sounding electric fireplace. I didn't think it was gonna be a cool feature, but 
sometimes my wife and I are drinking coffee, we actually do turn it on. It actually does feel relaxing and add to the authenticity of the fireplace. Also, um, we can change the flame speed. So we have slow, fast. So I think it's the most customizable. Um, it also, in the smaller sizes, has surround, so we can use it as an insert. And then like the other ones, it goes really big too. So I think they have up to a 54, so we can get massive with this thing. And then for this technology, it's actually really, really reasonably priced. It's like right in the middle. So it's, it's, you're gonna pay more of a premium price, but it's not insane. You know, it's not break the bank type crazy luxury. It's, it's a reasonable, well-priced unit. And I think it's the most future-proofed. I guarantee you down the road, we'll have more flames that they're going to film. They filmed them all in their own parking lot um, down at Arizona, or uh, uh, Modern Flames in Arizona is where they film them, which is really, really cool. I think we showed you some footage of that and they hire movie studios to come out and actually do that footage. So they put a ton of investment into this product. Um, like I said, it has a great warranty. Modern Flames is one of the stronger companies as far as warranty. So that's why this literally checks every single box. Um, I think it looks very realistic. It's not the most realistic compared to the Net Zero, but it's pretty darn close. It's a very functional price point. A lot of install options. The best app, the most future proofs, the best type of heater, the, the best uh, sound. Like it literally checks every single box. That's why it's a no brainer for number one. And I'm really excited about it. I love that we're seeing some more research and development into the traditional side of electric fireplaces. It's huge. It's long overdue, and it's nice that we have some new contenders uh, to sort of spice up this category. Um, so this is our top five. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you guys next time.